All right, good morning, everyone. Polly, Remorse, Techno Archmage, good morning. Rabid Wombat. The Goody Belt. Ugh. Gross. Gross. As it is, so shall it be. They are now spaghetti belts. Oh my lord. Okay. I'm I'm a little out of it. I did not sleep well at all. Um in fact I ended up sleeping through my alarm here this morning. Why is there so much hair on my God blessed microphone? I'm a, I'm a little out of it, but we are going to get moving here. Uh, I did actually do a lot of touch-ups. Yesterday. Um, so uh, the thing I did do, which I did mention, I did mention yesterday, is I was going to clear this area uh this might not be enough this might not be enough area we'll see but it's a start we are gonna need a lot of space though because we are we're making a lot of fuel generators here today um these are the buffer tanks just so i can keep an eye on turbo fuel uh, and this is the packager to help grab some whenever I need it. Uh, I did put the walls up around the foundation. Uh, I did put foundations down around stairs and whatnot. Uh, and then inside. Inside here I put down more lighting. I put down walkways. put uh, more of these uh, uh some of these floodlights up because i while they're not the most effective lights on the planet i think they look nice i think they look classy uh and putting them in certain areas i think helps brighten it up Ugh. Sorry, Ked is right behind me opening a box. <laughs> yeah. Um, on this side, I did patch up the roof. I, I didn't put the skylight in. I still haven't gotten the um, unlock on that. I spent my, my tickets on other things. But there's constant flow of tickets coming in. So I'll get it eventually. I'll get it eventually here. Um, but I did also realize I kind of fucked up this setup. Um, so I had the one turbo fuel line running around here from these outside refineries. And that was, that was all well and good. And I just routed that out through here. What I'd forgotten to do was this. I had not hooked in the outputs from these center refineries for turbo fuel. Completely forgot. So now they're in the system. It's all linked together. Um, I believe it can be contained. Uh, we did the math yesterday. It can all be held in one advanced pipe. Barely. It can be held in one, all in one advanced pipe. If we, if I had pushed maybe like, I think two more refineries, we would have needed a second pipe, no matter what. So that kind of brings us to today. We have all this 
background work done. I assumed I was going to take the first like two hours today and finish this up, clean this up, and get this cut up, but I am glad that I got that done last night so we can get right to trying to figure out how we use all this shit. Keep going, buddy. Uh, so let's... Let's remind ourselves on the math on this. Um, so it's... Fourteen plus four is twenty. Thirty-one. It's thirty-one. Thirty-one refineries making turbo fuel. That's times twenty-two point five. Yeah, you're twenty-two five. No, eighteen point seven five. Five eighty-one point two five divided by seven point five equals seventy-seven point five. We're making 77 fuel generators. I'm ignoring the point 0.5. At this point, I'm ignoring the point 0.5. Where the fuck are we going to put 77 fuel generators? These things are not small. These are not small. Oh boy. Well, I think our first thing we can do is just start to push out the foundations. Just just start to look at spacing and what we have to work with. Because with the amount of generators we need to set down, I think the best thing we can do is just is just go. Uh, this is, this is very much going to be a, act first and ask for forgiveness afterwards kind of thing. We'll clean up our mistakes as we get to them. And there will be mistakes. There will be mistakes. Oh, for fun, I did um, load some turbo fuel in the jetpack, and I, I remembered why I didn't like it. Um, but let me show you guys real quick while while we have a moment. Let me show you guys why I don't like jetpack turbo uh, turbo fuel in the jetpack. You get big uppies, but man, you burn through it fast. See. Like, I could go, wee. Yeah, fine. I'll hold on to a stack. I, I need to have a stack for um, the ma'am stuff, anyhow. It is called Turbo Fuel. Lone Ruby Jess, good morning. Um, you don't, you don't need those kind of big uppies in the jetpack. Honestly, 
liquid biofuel does just fine. It lasts forever. It gets you just enough upward motion. And you can hover for ages. You can hover for ages. Well, that, here's the here's the thing though about turbo fuel. It's at least in in my experience, I haven't experimented with the super advanced fuels. But like <laughs> I I haven't experimented with rocket fuel or ionized fuel. I, rocket fuel is apparently Turbo fuel on steroids. And ionized fuel is... ...redonkulously efficient. Ooh, I almost have enough for turbo rifle ammo. I don't need turbo fuel here, do I? Do I? Not on there. Bullet guidance system. Okay. Less on the fucking around. Less fuckery. Let's see. What we can do here. Because I don't I don't want to just sit them out. Exposed. I don't want to set the generators out exposed to the elements. I do want to put them in something, but I don't want to just put them in a box. I need quick wire. What do you mean, rumors? The computer that can get you more blueprints. I can build a MAM anywhere I want. Like, you, you can build as many as you want. There's there's no rule about... Um, you can only have so many MAMs. Yeah, I think I have three set up at the moment. I know I have one over by the gunpowder and steel area. I have one by the hub. And I think I have one, another one floating around somewhere. them to have spacing here. Yeah, just a touch of spacing. I think what I might want to do... Oh, no, 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 no. Curious about the noise outside, baby girl.
I want a little bit more space on this side. I want a little bit more space. Man, the... I don't love it. Do I try to move it over? I'm I'm wasting time with silly choices, but Is that actually even though? If I move this over then? Yeah, it would be. Okay, no no no, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Yes. Okay, yes. Now the the easy part about this is no matter where I go, no matter what we do, we just have to run one line. That's it. Just the one line. And I think I'm going to build almost like glass sheds for these. You see what I mean? You're going to see what I mean here. Oh, no. You. Come on. Let me place it down. I see it. I see it right there. There we go. Yeah, it's tight. It's tight, but that's fine. That's okay. Um, I think I'm gonna do like these, uh, almost like glass sheds for them. try and go mostly steel for these to make them feel like, okay, these are electrical structures. No, I'm, I'm, I'm having, I'm putting walls up. to look nice. Um, I did. I did uh, upgrade to to the uh, glass roofs. If I was feeling really classy, I was. At, I would actually put in the steel frames. I want to experiment more with these at some point. Man, our glass foundations.
I'm ha yeah, I'm having silly ideas. I'm not going to have a ground level entrance. I'm not going to do a ground level entrance. I think I know what I'm going to do for, like, building access for this. But it's not going to be a ground level. It's going to be a uh, an upper floor entrance. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm also, like, slowly kicking my brain on here. Yeah, I, I completely slept through my alarm this morning. I'm not going to hook that up yet. <laughs> oh god, that... That video gives me anxiety. <laughs> like, I feel, I feel the anxiety that person is going through. So bad. Alright, that's kind of like the basis for the electrical shed. Now we need to decide on the actual windows. So we've been using the hex frames everywhere, but would the honeycomb look better? Does that give it more of like a generator look? I want it to feel a little industrial. No, I don't like reinforce. There's there, there's too much blockage there. Good so far. Good so far. No, I did I did have them up a moment ago. Okay. Now we start learning some new parts. So we have these.
I'm gonna go up another level first, though. I think we go up another level first. Because I don't want... I don't want to make big boxes filled with CO2. So I want the smokestacks sticking out, but just barely. But just barely. Big CO2 boxes? That's bad. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I think I know what I'm doing here. I think I, I think I know what I got going on. Oh, that actually looks pretty slick. That, mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Wait a second, one of those sides is a little like... Bleh. Speaking of bleh though, happy October. October. It's fucking spooky time, bitches. Bleh. Bleh. My brain is bleh today. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank goodness for the Hex Girls. Oh, that does look slick. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> no. No. Conan, does that did that disrupt you? Did that throw off your chi? Oh no. Hey, no, we're good. Never mind, we're good. We're good. Conan baby, what's wrong? The Longshoremen's Association is striking? I didn't know there was a Longshoremen's Association. Yeah. Wait a second. Did I not... <gasps> oh my lord. These are not set correctly. 
These aren't set correctly. I'm, I might actually have to change the others because I don't know if this, oh no, it is gonna work. Okay, no, 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 it is gonna work. I just need to, need to give it some love here. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. And are all these structures gonna be the same? No. Is the, do I want to make sure this one looks correct? Yes. Oh shit, Jess, happy birthday. Double threes. Everyone in chat wish Jess a happy birthday there. Jess, get yourself some cake today. The what? Is 33 the Jesus here? Oh. I don't know that. Listen, <laughs> just because someone's Catholic does not mean they know anything about this. I speak from experience. Oh. Good morning, Wolf Prince. How are you today? Um. Need to put in a doorway. weird I don't think it can be honeycomb all the way up I don't think it can be honeycomb all the way up and this looks weird this ribbing like the 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 dark lines on the tops and bottoms of those, that also looks weird to me. That looks... Do I go to concrete? Cause I like here's the thing, I like the edge. I, I like the 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 line of steel walls. But the fact of the matter is is that stacking them vertically does not work. At all. Try something here. Maybe trying to go all steel all the time was not the correct idea. I'm gonna try something here. Let's see if this see if this works. See how see how this this floats.
Hmm. Hmm. We're, fe we're feeling it out here at the moment. Concrete doesn't really look right either because it looks way too heavy. It doesn't it doesn't look structurally sound. I don't love that either because the yellow really just clashes with everything else that I'm doing here. This I do know we're doing. This this we are doing. And I think I think the choice is we're leaving the steel in place. to do about the corners. Oh no, do we get into colors here? Okay. Ooh, okay, yeah, 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 the carbon steel finished. I like that shit. It doesn't keep the painting on it. That's okay. That feels, that feels right. 
Um, I, actually, I'm going to center the door. I'm going to do the center door. Yeah. All right, we're all, we're we're almost done with this section, and I'm I'm taking a lot of extra time with customization. I know I am. I want to do a ladder. Wait, these are off. Oh, because I use different kinds. I use different kinds. Like, why? Why are those not even? Oh, that's slick. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just delicious right there. We could be on a moon. We could be on a moon. That's no moon. It could be. Uh, okay, we need to finish making some choices here. Uh, so for the corners, like the far corners... Not quite enough. There's that. So for these, we're going to go with those. Um, are there... There's no glass corner sections. As there ought not, it doesn't make a lot of structural sense. So what we'll do... It does look a little odd when you stack the honeycomb that high. But maybe this is for the best. Can I get the far side? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, let's uh, paint it up here.
And then we get inside, wire it up, and we are off to the races. Uh, I'm not going to deal with the walkway, the interior walkways right now. So the connector here is on the back. I think that's what we do. I think that's what we do. Are you kidding me? I'm out of rods. God dang it. Um, actually, so there's a little divot there, and I don't like it. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna change what we're doing because there's no divot in the middle here. Yeah, it feels a little better. Uh, okay, now we need to figure out when where power is coming in at. Uh, we do have that coming out here. We can run lines along. The pipes. How am I out of rods? I need to go back and get rods. Let's do a double sided right there in the middle over my entrance. Then I'm going to go back and get more rods. Uh, which side did I get that? Okay, they're all hooked up. There they go. Beautiful. I will never need for power ever again after this. Because that's just six. We still have 71 more.
And as you can see, they are stupid efficient. They are so god dang efficient. I also believe I still have tons of fuel left over. Even, like, with... E even if I'm using all this turbo fuel at capacity... At 22.5 per minute. Um... So I'm consuming about 700, I'm going to say 700 fuel parts per minute. 700 meters cubed of fuel per minute. Uh, and I'm making um, 14 plus 12, 26. Yeah, yeah. 26 times 40. Just over a thousand. Yeah, 1,040. So, were I to, were I so to choose, I do have about 300 extra fuel per minute to fuck around with. And that can either be for whenever I can make more compacted coal, additional turbo fuel production, or I can shove that into generators as well. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm only doing turbo fuel generators here for this setup, but um, something to keep in mind. Okay, let's go. Let's go get more rods. Let's go get more rods. How, how is everyone today so far? Oh, it's so nice to finally see this coming to a conclusion. I know I, I said that multiple times yesterday, but the, the satisfaction that's coming out of finishing this build and knowing that even well into when I should be using nuclear power, I will still be able to rely on fuel is very comforting because it I as, as, manufacturers take an immense amount of fuck around to deal with. They are bastards. So, being able to have no thoughts diverted into, oh god, do I have enough power? Um, let's just let's just stockpile that. I'm gonna grab another stack of. Plastic tubs. Am I? I think I'm just making Tupperware here. Uh, concrete. How good am I on concrete? I'm okay on concrete. Let's grab a couple more. Let me sort. What else do we need? We're gonna. We're we're okay on plate. I'm gonna grab another stack of plates. I'm gonna need more silica. If I'm fucking around with glass, I'm gonna need a lot more silica. Lucky enough, where I'm making silica is pretty close to where we're setting up those generators. So that's that's not a big scare. Um, do I want to turn this back on? Oh yeah, no, we're stockpiled. Um, yeah, we'll turn this back on for a little bit. Anytime this backs up, I'm just going to plug this back in. Copper sheets or any copper sheets. Wire. No, I'm good. Oh, Twitch is telling me I gotta take a break. I should. I I'm still I'm still waking up. I should grab a smoothie or something. I haven't eaten anything yet today.
The big, the big thing about today is as we place more of the generators that are consuming the turbo fuel, we're essentially putting tension on that line where we're actually like activating more of that consistent production. And we just need to kind of monitor it to make sure as we're increasing the tension on this turbo fuel line, we're not pushing any one part of it over over its capacity um i believe i've built this near foolproof to where the turbo fuel is at the lowest tier of production compared to everything else but the fact of the matter is is that compacted coal is my weak point in this production line so we need to make sure no matter what we do that compacted coal does not become overstrained Man, seeing all those work, that just that just gives me happy feelings inside. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's part one. We're going to take a time out here, three to five minutes, and then we will return. And we're going to put down a hell of a lot more generators. And now that we have our basic style set down for these generator sheds, it's going to be a little faster. <gasps> Excuse me. It's going to be a little faster as we progress. As a reminder, as we're going into break, every day this week, 8 a.m. to noon, we might go a little late today because I want to get all these generators down. All 77 generators are being placed down today. We placed six so far. So we might go late today. Satisfactory tomorrow. Most likely satisfactory Thursday, although at the end of the week, I might blend in a little bit more WoW. A little bit more WoW time. We'll see. I do have a WoW channel, by the way, in the Discord. If you want to join us on Turtle... Um, probably looking to do more Scarlet Monastery this week. Maybe something else. All right, quick BRB, and then more after this. Thank you for sticking around through the break. We continue. More generators. More power. We're consuming maybe a tenth of what we're making right now. But that's actually, that's also going to scale up just slightly as... We set up more generators because more of our refinery setup and more of our compacted coal setup is going to kick on. So as we start to generate more power with what we have, we're going to start consuming more, more of that power to do so. Uh, so let's, let's bring this fuel line down this direction. Oh, that's butter. Oh, that's butter right there. Seven. So if I want to make more of those, is it going to be, is it seven by seven? It's seven by eight. It's seven by eight. Ooh. Why did I do a double here? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. No. Did I do a double on both sides? I did. The fuck is wrong with me? I 
I still have the double selected from. Uh, no, it placed a double. Okay. So whenever I'm doing a connection, if I'm going from a double, it's going to make another double. I need to keep that in mind. I did not actually know that. I did not know that. Okay, is that better? Yes. Okay. So it's seven across eight deep. Foundations wise. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. That's not the best use of this space. So we're going to go a little bit further here. And this may take a little reconfiguring, but I'm going to do three lines in here. I'm going to do three lines in, in this one. Motors. Oop. I am. And I need to remember this. I need. I need to go and get more silica too. I need to go get more silica too. That can be after I actually like set down the generators and line them. Because I'll I'll be going through a lot of materials and I'll have more inventory space after that. But still. I need to. I need to get more silica. Daka, uh, I'm sorry, I'm reading back in, in chat, and I realize I, I didn't respond to some of that stuff. Uh, Doc Ock was trying to use a singularity as an energy source in that Spider-Man movie, I believe. And it just ramps out of control every time. Why? Why leaves? Blech. Blech. No, what? No. Absolutely the fuck not. Alright, is that facing correct? Yes.
Rhubar? Not a rubber. At some point here, I... Mm, what? Oh, that's the connector for the light. Yeah, that needs to be just a touch lower. These, that's whatever. That's whatever. Yeah, same over here. Okay, I just need to lower that a little bit. I see, I, every so often I just see things that I need to fix. I'm also very glad I made... Uh, multiple cables redundant for that very reason. So disconnecting those didn't do anything. I need to put handrails up here. Osha would be disappointed. Actually, don't like that. No, I'm gonna do. I'm going to do something a touch different here. I'm going to push him back that direction. Hmm. Or can I? Might have to do a mix of both. Might need to do a mix of both. Cause I, I, I feel like I can fit. These generators here, I'm just have to be a little funky. With them. That doesn't really, that, that doesn't give me much at all to work with.
Okay. Let me just... I want to see something. I don't love that. Don't have any... I have no space to go back that way. That's fine. How much space do I have on this end? No, no, no. Yeah, there it is. Now that should still... Yes. And that should then... Okay. Osha Dan... Oh, Lord. Don't tell Rob that. Oh, God. <laughs> we have one... We have run one rule in this household. Don't give Rob ideas. <laughs> uh, I'm going to actually place these manually. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's so bad. Rob's probably feeling a disturbance in the force right now from from this. Bombat satisfactory, do it, no balls. Do it. That's ah, cut that is like ugh, that is on the edge.
That is on the edge. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're gonna make this work. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm really trying not to hate it. I'm trying not to hate it. At least it's similar on each side. It's gonna be an interesting build. Isn't there an awesome shop I, uh, item that allows you to pass pipes through a placed hole? Um, maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. I really wish this would take my color selection as well. I need to go get that silica. I need to go get that silica. Also, I'm trying to remember if there is an awesome shop item like that. I don't remember.
I'm not like, I'm not purposefully trying to have like a lot of gravel in my voice today. My voice is just a little rough today. I have hydration, I just, it's, I've got a lot of gravel today. I, and, you know, I can feel it. Like, I, I can feel too when. When there's a little bit of roughness to my voice. I know, I know it sounds. There's a different sound to it when I have, have that little extra gruffness. I'm not doing it on purpose because it doesn't, it's not like super comfortable. Today might be a soup day. It should be. Cat, Cat is agreeing with soup. Oh, that was awkward. So we have the the floor hole. Oh no, there's a wall hole. Oh, yeah. There is a wall hole. Eh. I mean it works. I kind of I kind of like this look. I kind of like that look. I mean, now that I know now I know it's there. Now, I don't want to do honeycomb all the way across. You want me to be on this side? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Am I not tall enough? Oh, this is going to be different because I have them placed differently. Yeah, these are going to be different. Because I have these hugged like 
much closer to the to the edge. It's a little more condensed of a building. You don't need to leave a random awesome shop just sitting out. It's gonna look a little weird, but I kinda like it. Now, big question here. I feel like we don't need as aggressive of an angle, so let's go with the shallower two meter slopes. Oh no, that's the wrong direction. We want these rotated with the large structural beam towards the center. Let's do the other side. I don't want I don't want to make choices about the center here just yet. Okay, I need to make choices about the center. I gotta make choices about the center now. fix that.
I'm gonna do something a little dumb here. But the fact of the matter is, is that... It's going to look weird if I don't do this. Okay, so that answers part of that oh, what do we do here in the middle question. Just like glass otherwise? Okay. How's that look from the inside? Well, there's definitely a bit of blinking where the metal is meeting. Is this a situation where No, that doesn't look like it matches up right. Hold on a second, though. Got an idea. I got an idea. Unless it's lower. That sits lower. No, I'm not about that life. Uh, I think what we do is actually fill in with... This. It's a lot more metal, but it does give it that more structurally sound appearance. Uh, let's paint. Actually, no, let's not paint yet because we need to put in the corners still. Also, I need to put in a couple doors. We're gonna make a little like observation deck almost. Bear with bear with me here on this.
And for this, actually, I'm going to build the insides. Unlike the last one where I really didn't need to. This one I'm going to just because it's going to help. Enjoy, enjoy your very stupid meeting, Wombat. I hope it's stupid. I don't hope it's stupid. I hope you don't kill anyone. I like having the handrails up next to the window. I actually think that's pretty cool. Oops. Yeah, actually, I, I like that. I like that look. Okay. So we have doors. We will put in the outside walkways eventually. But what I need to do next is actually put in the corner pieces in the rest of the walls. I'm having so many mobility issues today. Oh my god. Almost there. Okay, let's get everything colored up. Carbon steel. This, this build is definitely just a little tighter on space than I would prefer, but it does work, and it, it works out well. Uh, and that's, that's going to knock 12 off our build count that we need to get done today.
Uh, so after we paint these bits of wall up, it's just the wiring. good we good we good uh so let's decide where power is coming in from running the line over here i think we can safely assume power is going to be coming in above here Now, in the lesson we learned from <laughs> over there, we have to be a little careful how we place our power connections. We don't want to connect. We, we, we don't want to do this. Oh, I'm just building a power line off of this because it's going to assume I want to do a double. We, we have learned our lesson there with that. I'm not painting the whole thing, millennial grade, just the power shacks. The power shacks are very similar to the love shacks, except they contain electricity. I don't know if the love shack contains electricity. Does the love shack need electricity? Well, yeah. Yeah, it does. You have a lot of devices, you're going to have to power in the love shack. I doubt you can run that shit off solar either, let me tell you what. Outer generators are hooked in, good to go. Let's let's get these big boys hooked up. The love shack is where the heart is, along with many other organs.
Perfect. All right, now we can kick these fuckers on. If I can get out the door. Ooh, wait a second. No, I didn't connect this up yet. Um, If I'm going to run a catwalk outside... Oh, Conan, you okay, buddy? Yeah, he shook himself awake there. He's okay, he's curled back up now. Yeah, we'll go with that. I don't want a power line cutting through any walkways I set up there. In fact, I don't even know if that's permanent. Uh, but we'll, we'll we're gonna go with it for right now. We're gonna go with it for right now. Okay, that's 18. 18 generators now of 77. <laughs> Blow. Blow, you incredibly dangerous looking liquid. Nothing in nature is supposed to be that kind of like bright red. That's danger, that's bad. We are at max flow. The cone of shell. Oh no. Well, it's good that it, it's good that you're taking care of him. He may he may not be loving life right now, but sounds like it's needed. And yeah, I've actually I've heard of a lot of people having tech issues with Frostpunk in general. Like Dag was really struggling with some audio glitches there that were just was just ruining the experience for him. Okay. 18 generators down. 
we're starting to put tension on that turbo fuel line. Obviously, the generators are filling, so it's going to be pulling a good bit. Once they're filled, though, they're going to be just sitting at capacity. And then we'll see where the consumption is actually sitting at. But the fact of the matter is, is that we are actually using some of our turbo fuel manufacturing now. We're going to take a short break here, three to five minutes, and then we'll be right back with fucking more generators. <laughs> we got we to gotta keep putting these up, guys, as fast as we can. B BRB, three to five minutes. Welcome back, everyone. Kiri, good morning. New episode of our Satisfactory Build just went up over on the YouTube page. It's our Nobelisk one where I finally make explosives. As a reminder, all of this Satisfactory Build is going up on the YouTube page, youtube.com slash at the Dan Nation. We got a command for that. If you haven't subscribed over there already, make sure you do so. More power. Uh, let's check our grid here. Oh my god. 15 gigawatts. Our capacity is up to 15 gigawatts. The oscillation, by the way, in the grid is coming from the... Geothermal generators, which oscillate between a low and a high slowly over the course of like two minutes. I still don't like geothermal generators because let me tell you what, they don't really generate that much power. <laughs> they, they really don't. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. So the strongest single geothermal generator generates between 200 and 600 megawatts. This thing is generating a consistent 250. And I can build a fuckload more of these than I can of those. And they're less expensive. You need, you need high-speed connectors for uh, geothermal generators, and I'm not a fan. I'm just not. I don't, I don't like that. So, just, just, one, just one individual's opinion, but... I don't, I don't love them. Oh, we're way beyond time travel. Yeah, we, like, we got, we got way past time travel. Like, nah, this, this area here is better. We're going, we're going, we're going back in time to before we went back in time. Uh, let's just check on manufacturing here. Or I should say refinement. Um, still very little movement. Yeah, still very little movement. Even though we're adding all that power to the grid, now that everything is kind of evened out, yeah, we're bar we're barely getting any real flow. We have built we have built eighteen of seventy seven generators that we need. To properly use all this power or all this fuel. Cath may happen later today. What time, Kiri? Now to destroy more nature. Remember, kids, destroying nature is fun. This, we can be a little more appropriately spaced on. Uh, it doesn't do us any good to really try and build up that hill. In about four to five hours. Okay, I'll I'll be around. I'll try and get my elf ass up that direction.
Yes. Yeah, I, I'm shocked you're even asking me. You, this, that's just, you, you go for it. <laughs> so Kat is getting Sonya, our soon-to-be two-year-old tiny orange baby, a pumpkin spice latte catnip toy. There will be fi pictures. Pictures and video, probably. Destruction of natural beauty. Yay! Um, unfortunately, last Harley Marie, there's there's a lot of memory issues, even with just the blueprints that they have included in the game. Unfortunately. Um, which isn't great. We don't, we're not going to get like really intense blueprints that we're going to be able to fuck around with a ton but i am appreciative of the blueprints that we have i do like the blueprints that we have uh so for these generators i'm giving myself a little more space not that much space maybe not that much space maybe not quite that much space i do want to have a little bit more on the back end And we can go four deep. We can absolutely go four deep here. Or can we? I need implements of destruction. Also, good morning, Pyman. Good morning, Dr. Doctor. How are you both today? Oh, we might... We might be able to do this. I, it might have to be a little funky. We might be a little funky fresh with how we do it, but I, I can do this, actually. I don't think I can use full-size foundations, though, and make it look like it fits. We'll see. Uh, let's just, let's just try here. Oh, no, just barely. Fucking whoop. That is, that is tight like a tiger. Okay. Um, ah, do we want to space these out a touch? Or do we need a little more room on this side? Let's see, let's see what happens when we just give them a little bit of breathing room each. Not necessarily permanent, I just want to see what the spacing is on this side. Oh! That's like perfectly fine. In fact, what spacing do we have over here? Yeah, I'm gonna move everyone over one, cause why the fuck not? Okay, 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 okay. Is that...
I don't think that's the same distance. Oh, it might be. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, of course, Doctor, Doctor. So... What do we do? So we need to make up one or three spaces. I think what we do is we're gonna hug those two together tightly, but then keep that one spacing here. And that's then that same spacing that we used over there. Okay. Now then. Now this, this provides a beautiful complication. That I'm out of metal fucking sheets again. God bless America. I also need to restock on um, biofuel. And thank, thank you for lurking, Doctor Doctor. As I'm trying to build some kind of consistent audience here. Um, I, I do appreciate everyone who sticks around, even if you just lurk in the mornings and listen. Even if you're just using this as background noise. It does mean the world to me. There we go. Almost overshot. Do I have wood? I do have wood. Do I have mycelia? I do not. Oh, good morning, ring song. I don't know how effective I am at helping people wake up, but I like to think it's not the worst way. Oh shit, did I put those containers in? I did not. I'll seem to grab more quick wire. Oh my god. Cat just slammed her window closed. And it, because it's loud outside. There's a lot of construction going on around here right now. Um, I don't need screws. Need to grab more rubber. Wire I'm good on. Cable I'm good on. Sheets I'm now good on. I'll take fine. I'll take fine.
And we have a lot of space to work with here. A lot of space. Nope, nope, this doesn't have the proper spacing. With, with how many of these I'm putting down, it makes me very grateful that I spent so much time making sure my steel production was as robust as it is. I do wish I was grinding it, like, consistently, but the fact that I have boxes full of steel parts is very helpful. I'm going to try and do more editing tonight. Uh, after today, I'll have three days of material. I just need to edit through real fast, and then I'll set an overnight render. Oh my god, I'm out of rubber already. Generators burn through so much of these advanced materials so quickly. The good news is though now that we're now that we're using up fuel turbo fuel we're needing to refine more heavy oil residue which means we have byproduct coming in and byproduct means plastic and rubber and that's a good thing And I am grinding a lot of that stuff, too. So the more power that we're using up, the more of that turbo fuel we're putting on the grid, the more consistent coupon production we're looking at. Okay, let's make sure our spacing is consistent. I might need to move these. Because they're a little far away from where I want them to be. Two, 
two, three. Oh, a little further than that, okay. No, I think it's a, yeah, it's the same distance. There you are. And that looks good. Two, three. Yep, that's good. Oh my god, I built it in the same spot. This feels very dumb. Nope, nope, no, 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 those don't hug. These do hug. This don't hug. Do I, how much more space do I have to work with here? Do I put in another line of generators in this structure? That would be an uneven amount. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Can I fit two more lines? Three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Maybe? No, no, that's gonna cramp. And I need I still need to run this line around here. I can do like a side building over there, but I'm going to I'm going to call this set of generators good. I'm going to call this set of generators good. So I have 18 active currently. This is going to be another 16. That's going to bring our total count up to 34. Which is getting close to halfway. It's not quite halfway, but it's getting close to halfway. For the total amount of generators we need to have available. 
Like we're getting we're getting there. On, lock on. It doesn't want to lock on. It has no desire to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use those uh, liquid pipe ports. That is a mouthful right there. Liquid pipe ports. Feel gross. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 So why am I dropping frames? Frames, where are you going? You stay here. Frames, you stay here. We need you here. Come on, come on back, frames. Frames, come on back. Again, we want to make sure tension on the turbo fuel line does not become strained as we're increasing capacity. The theoretical maximum limit is 77 and a half fuel generators on that one line of turbo fuel, but of course, things don't always work out like that in practice. So, it's really good if we just every so often check these buffers, make sure everything's fine. Oh shit, does my stream not have enough frame assemblers? I don't have enough frame assemblers for the stream. That's my problem. Teddy, how are you today?
My my flight control is all over the all over the place today. I don't know what's up. I I'm a little off my game today. The turbo fuel is starting to flow. We're starting to utilize some of it. Um, we need to put down a maximum of 77 fuel generators to use it at capacity. Well, mostly at capacity. We're still going to have a little bit extra. That's fine. Um, but after I kick these generators on, we'll be just under half of use of my capacity of turbo fuel. So we're get we're getting there. We're getting there, but my god. As as I said both yesterday and this morning, where the fuck do we put all these? And I think that's a reasonable question to ask. Uh, so what did I do over here? Did I do three high? Yeah. Yeah, I did three high. Okay. Lucky enough, fuel generators have these handy dandy towers atop them that really make life just that much easier when it comes to building around them. So after we get fuel done here tomorrow and Thursday, it's going to be manufacturers. Uh, we need to get computers going. We need to get heavy modular frames going. Um, there's a few other things that I want to sort out in manufacturers as well. But since we're going to have about, I'm going to say, 50 billion megawatts of power... We'll be able to really start to consider... getting our manufacturers up and running. That's like 12 DeLoreans. Maybe. Maybe.
The only Jurassic, the only um, Back to the Future movie you like is three. Okay. Fair enough. Now I'm not asking questions. Trying to decide how I want to do this. I, I honestly have no thoughts. <laughs> okay. Let's... It's the only one with a train in it. You're not wrong. I did just notice that I have structural beams available. So I need I need to put the wall up there before I do that. That's okay. Let, let's give this... Let's give this puppy a go here. I'm out of steel beams. <laughs> For a bird to get inside. God, I hope not. I'm I'm more I, I'm not just caging these generators up because hey it looks nice and I want to keep things you know you know keep them protected from the rain I want to keep wildlife protected from fucking electrocuting itself you you get me I don't want some giant space tick wandering between those towers and suddenly turning into fried bacon.
Oh, good day, Tibbs. What'd you, what'd you bring us for lunch? Tibbs brought us lunch, everyone. Make sure to thank him. Men in Black 3 is your favorite time travel movie? That okay, that's a choice. That's a choice. I don't mm, I don't know about that one. I don't I don't know about that one. Okay. Get a little extra beam action going on there. It's subtle. And it actually looks almost exactly like what's going on with the other sections of roofing. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Yeah. Okay. You were at the boardwalk. Oh, shit. Ooh, nice tips. Good tips brought us all some, some good Spanish food. Fucking shoulder check it. God dang. Um, okay, we need to decide on some entrances here. And I think eventually I will actually build like walkways between these two buildings. Also, Teddy, look, I'm actually painting things. Normally, I don't. But I, I wanted these to be, like, that black electrical structure color that you see with a lot of, like, substations and newer, newer electrical buildings. That kind of black rubberized look. Kind of what I was aiming for. <laughs> Alright, let's clean up the walls here. I should have waited to do coloring until after I placed these. That was kind of dumb of me.
All right, painting complete. Doors complete. Um, let's decide our in for electrical. Build up grime and bird poop to be a substation. That's that's because I murder the birds, all of them. Every single one. Don't tell Ao. So because fuel is going into these generators, they are starting to kick on. do this. I know I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to repaint this. I know. Let's just, let's repaint them real fast. Do you have any suggestions for making manufacturers not look like a spaghetti monster? Give yourself some space. Take extra space and also it's never a bad idea to have a multi-layered facility 
when doing manufacturers and then running belts below them. So have like the manufacturing level for where you're building these. Oops, sorry, I just, just smashed my hand into the mic arm. Um, have your have your manufacturing on one level, and then on a lower level, have your transportation systems. So all your belts, everything that you need to store, any buffers that you might need, and then just keep them sequestered from each other. But seriously, use extra space. Space is not at a premium here on, on this planet. You have tons of space to work, so build wider build out larger you don't have to cramp everything in that would be my best advice hey soma how you doing I need to snooze this break because I still haven't set it up so mods can do that because I need to do that. <laughs> I'm not taking a break till this power station is completed. We're almost there. And the, the, the reason why is we're almost there. Okay, the two sides are linked in. We just need to link in the center generators. God, I love hearing them rev up like that. I still need to put walkways in. I still need to put walkways in outside here. Oh, whoops.
Oh, yeah. That's another four gigawatts on the network, baby. Fine paint. <laughs> Fine good paint. I don't have a hover pack yet. I would like a hover pack. I'm acting like I have a hover pack. Because, like, uh, the biofuel lasts forever in the jetpack, but I don't have a hover pack yet. Soon. Soon. We are slowly but surely approaching the 20 gigawatt mark. <laughs> and we're... We're barely consuming a tenth of that. How do you switch hotbars? Great question. So all you have to do is hold down left alt, the left alt button, and roll your mouse wheel. Aww. Aww. But yeah, left button, roll your mouse wheel. And you can just scroll through them all. Left alt. Roll mouse wheel. There it is. Okay, so that is... 16... Plus 12... Which is 28. 28 plus 6 is 34. We have 34 generators on this grid, and we're still only using less than half of the turbo fuel we're generating. Thank you, Tibbs. Um, we gotta, we're not going to be done with generators today. We're just not. I, I need so many generators to consume this turbo fuel. But the fact is we are starting to consume a semi-decent amount of it. We need to keep an eye on the flow. We need to keep an eye on the buffers. As we go along here. Buffers are fine. Yeah, there's actually a lot of... Teddy, there's a lot of emotes. I just... I always play solo, so I don't use them. So, and this might... Might shock you all. This might, this might surprise you guys when we come back. Is what we're building more generators. <laughs> we're building, we're building more generators because we need more generators. <laughs> the fuck do I do with all this turbo fuel? I love this because I'm never gonna have to worry about power until I start getting into particle accelerators at this point, which makes me ridiculously happy. And actually, for the last part of the stream, I might uh, just pretty up this area a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. I do want to start putting in walkways, maybe move around some of these power poles. I want to make it so I can easily access these, these buildings. So. <sighs> oh my goodness. So much power. But again, we, we've been working on this project for a week now. We've been working on turbo fuel here for a week now, including compacted coal, including running the oil, including the heavy oil residue, and everything in between. So, the fact that we're getting past this feels really delightful. We'll be back. Three to five minutes. Come on back after that for the conclusion of today's stream. First off, thank you for all the activity over on Blue Sky. The, on the Blue Skis. I see the skeeting. I see the skeetening. Thank you for that. A uh, reminder of our schedule for this week, 8 a.m. to noon every day. I was thinking about going late today. I think I'm going to go late tomorrow. Again, I did, not, I did not sleep well last night, so my brain's a little fuzzy today. Tomorrow we can get some extra time in. But 8 a.m. to noon every single day, mostly satisfactory. And then a little wow to end the week on. Um, yes, Conan. Yes, my boy. 
Yes, you can walk over there. Go ahead. Keep going. Go to your blanket. He's like right in front of my PC right now. Oh, I see what you want. All right, I see what you want. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yep, come on. You wanted lap time. You wanted lap time. All right. Uh, before we continue, I need to make a lunch choice. Uh, we need to make a lunch choice here. And, and soup. We believe soup is the appropriate call. I'm going to take it off this screen and we're going to go back to this for just a moment. That meeting was stupid, but since it ended early, you at least got a good chat in with your boss afterwards. Oh, that's good. Unfortunately, Taco Bell does not offer soup. Panera has all of their wonderful soups in season now. Sorry, give me just a moment, everyone. We're, we're trying to make a, a lunch choice here. Okay, cat, come in and pick something, all right? Come pick a soup. 
Conan, we got to scooch over here, uh, and let's get back to it. I'm going to try to make some space on my left. You can move the keyboard, too, if it gives you more space. Oh, I'll live. Um, so, the question is... How do we traverse this? Because we got a lot of big black electrical boxes that I have doors into, but no walkways. Oh, Conan, your breath is stinky. Oh, God. Conan, your breath is so stinky. I thought about it. I might I might switch over to mac and cheese, but right now I have the potato soup and a sandwich. I don't that. Is there bacon in it? Oh yeah. It does look fucking good. I am okay with this. See, instead of running walkways outside the whole way, okay. There you go. Like a child. Cat is two years old. Yeah, Wombat, I'm cranky you responded to work stuff while on leave. Don't fucking do that. I gotta, I gotta stick with the baked potato. Do I? That looks good. Yeah. You're, you're curious. Orion, good morning. Ooh, leftover mac and cheese from last night. Some hot sauce, chili sauce. Yeah, I don't know if I'm sick. I just, my voice is a little rough today. And it's, it's just cool enough out that I'm like, yeah, it's soup season. It's soup season. Maybe I do go late today. Wombat, no responding to work shit while you're not working. Like, the moment you are done, you, you, you be done. You do the done thing. Okay, so we can walk through both of these buildings, no problem. Full access now. Perfect. Majestic. Fantastic. Lovely. Delightful. How do we get up here?
think what we do You're gonna see what I'm doing here in a second. You're gonna you're gonna get this here in a second. Did I use stairs or ramps over here? I used ramps. Should I have used stairs? I think I might have should have. Might have kind of should have. Yeah, stairs look classier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do stairs. If I leave a bag of broken at work, good. <laughs> yeah, there's... Okay. I'm, I put on my communist hat a little bit yesterday, and I'm going to do it again today. Workers in the United States, and generally speaking around the world, except for a few specific uh, examples, are generally abused the fuck out of. That's not me trying to throw an opinion out there that's baseless. Workers are not treated well <laughs> most places. So, you have all right to, if you're not being paid for your time, not work. You are under no obligation to continue providing services if you're not getting paid for them. Yeah. 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 Take care of yourself first and foremost. Always. In everything. Uh, to be fair though, Dr. Doctor, neither are jetpacks. Mm-hmm. Mm, that doesn't really get me anywhere.
Mm. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. And then we can place some stairs right over here. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, so this is how we, like, do our normal human being walking around this area. Wombat, don't make me threaten you. Let's say if I wanted to, like, rap, go that way. We need two things here. We're going to send a stairway straight down this way. This would not work because it would cut partially into this pipeline. So what we're going to do instead is not do that. We're going to do that. Mm, I don't like how that floor looks. No, 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 no. No. That's pretty slick. I actually I like that. Take your breaks and your PTO. Yes. <laughs> Disagree. Move to Germany. Okay. My next question, mostly to myself, is can I fit like a mini shed of generators right here? Two, 
three. Uh, maybe. This, this is going to be a hard maybe. Like, this is... This is a... Here's my number, so call me hard maybe. The kids are still using that reference, right? Please say yes. How many verticals of rotation are you allowed in construction? Teddy. Why are you asking me this question? Teddy. I don't trust that you're asking me this question. Oh, Speedy, no, you don't get the... Oh, no. Uh, so the reference is from a song in which the chorus goes, Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me maybe. I just want to know if you can turn things upside down. No! No, no, you, Teddy, you, you stop these, you stop these impure thoughts. Impure thoughts lead to profane actions. Um, that's too much of a difference for me. I can't fit two on here. That's okay. We're going to do something different then. Yeah, no, go with that. Sorry, I was, I was, I was debating. Oh, hello, Spencer. Oh, crisis averted. We're still hip. Thank fuck. Oh goodness. Don't call me about my car's extended warranty. I don't have a car. I, I. Got rid of that thing so I wouldn't would be able to avoid those problems. Spencer. Spencer, we have been hard at work. Our labors have been extensive today. But let me tell you, the labor is good. Productivity has truly reached a new high. Things are excellent. Hundred computers. Oh. Escherville will be harder to pull off when I get stairs then. The encabulation does go well. 
So Spencer, if I, I I don't know if I've shown you these facilities yet, but this facility over here is processing 1,600 meters cubed of heavy oil per minute from crude, and also as a side process, dealing with the byproduct by converting it into rubber and plastic here. You can see inside. All those happy little refineries making happy little gallons of oil. They pump out. And we head over to fuel, which this structure is a two-stage facility. The right-hand side is processing that heavy oil into regular fuel. And the left-hand side of the facility is taking that fuel, combining it with compacted coal, and manufacturing turbo fuel. Which we have pumping out here. We're using just under half of it right now. Where, where's the assembler making circuit boards? Crickets. 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 Uh, and then all of these black rubberized steel and glass enclosures are all fuel generators. Right now, we have 34 fuel generators. We need 77 for this setup. And the power is a-flowing. We are, we are quickly closing in on 20 gigawatts. Slowly but surely. Um, do I want to add one more here? Yeah, I'm not going to build over here, so we'll add one more. It's taking so long to put these fuel generators together. But with them, we will power many, 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 many manufacturers and not have to worry about power again for a long time. Um... So I have one more little tiny bit of space. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just making sure these are even. Can I import power from your save to mine? No. <laughs> no. I need it. I need it. Uh, are those even? Uh, hmm. Three spaces. Two spaces. No. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. This is what we're going to do. It's just going to be two spaces there. And that's gonna be fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Gross.
This is a wonderful time if anyone has any questions. I've been playing this game for a hot minute. If people have anything, they're like, the fuck is this? This is actually a pretty good time. My, bra my brain is feeling a little extra squishy. Also, I'm really hoping we can get that Scarlet, to get those Scarlet Monastery runs in here this afternoon. That'd be really nice to get done. Walls time. Mr. Boombati, good morning. Where is the Samor? I'm 65 hours into my save, haven't found any yet. Tibbs, what's your starting zone? In Caligor, in Caligor, good day. I recognize that name. Happy Tuesday in Caligor. Does this still have the pneumatic tubes? Is the human cannon still possible? Yes, it is, Ducat. It absolutely is. Well, here's the thing. Anyone who decides tinking is an okay idea. You know, I'm not sure about that person. I'm not I'm not so certain about them. I I don't know if they're a wholesome human being that, you know, I would want to be around others. And I'm not saying that's anyone here. I'm not saying it's anyone here, Mr. Boombody. But we're just we're a little unsure about you right now, okay? Okay. Spencer always thinks it's a good idea. No. No. Don't say that about Spencer. Spencer is a wonderful, upstanding young lad. Don't say nasty things about Spencer like that. Spencer's a good boy. Whistles innocently. Teddy. Teddy, don't you side eye. The hard desert, not the easy one. I don't know where Sam is over there. I don't know where Sam is over there. Um, I assume, Tibbs, you don't have the ability to ping for it yet, do you? You need Sam or to do that. Sam or I said it. No, I fucking said it. It's not Sam or anymore. It's just Sam. Oh, I've been so good about that. Oh, I feel dirty now. I feel gross and disgusting. You did nothing? No, but you were thinking it. I know your devious mind, Teddy. Your evil ways. It's just Sam now. It's just Sam now. It's not Sam or. It's strange alien material. Or strange alien matter. It's not or anymore. Um, let's... Let's take a quick sojourn. Because I do have the ability to ping for Sam. So let's let's do Tibbs a solid here. We're we're a community focused organization.
Old habits die hard. Which could have been a good die hard movie name, but they never used it. Uh, so I'm going to stop here. Sam. Uh, there's going to be a ping here. Okay, so there's one out in the coral reef area that's kind of close to you. Give you an idea of where I am right now. This one up there. That's not, like, really good for you, though. <laughs> Do I want Sam or what? You're killing me, Smalls! Damn it, Spencer! <laughs> no, that's not allowed. No, I know. We're... Boom body, we're trying to find some close to the uh, northern desert. For for Tibbs. We're doing I, I have I have Sam or being extra Sam, I said it fucking again. I have Sam being extracted already, so I'm not like hurting for it. Um, but Tibbs needs help finding some. But no, no, T Tibbs, we're going to go over to the northern desert and ping for it, okay? To give you an idea. Also getting a few more slugs in the process. My dimensional depot, I think, is maxed out on power cores already, but that's fine. I just store them in the, uh, the hub. Oh, that's bugs. Oh, that's bugs. Listen for it. Okay, so Tibbs, there is one up here, but that's still like in the coral reef area. That's down in the northern forest. Not super helpful. Ooh, Mercer Sphere. I break for Mercer Spheres. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, 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 no. No, I don't. Nope. I don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> Okay, so we are approaching the northern desert proper. See what we can find over here. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good ping. Um, so it's just south of the northern desert, but that Sam is there. Uh, rifle out on this one. That's a lot of poo gas. Let's see what's out there. Achievement unlocked. That is a big motherfucker. And that's also why I like um, biofuel in my jetpack. Because it lasts forever. Yep, yep, yep. 
Pick it up. Compose it into a blood song. Are your vessels functional or recreational? Mostly functional. A cog in the machine? Correct. A hog in the woods. The vessel is blood. Fascinating. Yes, I think they are. They are conduits, builders, breakers, defenders and aggressors, cells within a larger organism. We do not share a body. Harmony. Harmony. I don't I don't trust any of of them. I trust none of them. Oh, is it near that lake, Boombody? Oh, I don't want to deal with all... No, oh, there's so many buggerinos. No thankies. No, I don't want any of those. Ow, my face. Sorry, I'm also getting distracted by Mercer Spheres. Oh, this might be tight. Oh, this might be tight. It's gonna be some radiation. Radiation is, oh God, it hurts me. Oh. Oh, hello. Poiple slug. No, no, no bugs, no bugs, no bugs. Bugs, out. Bugs, I have no beef with you. Bugs. Oh, that's just a rock. It looked really weird to me. They added so much out here. Holy shit. But this is also why, make sure you always process your biomass to solid biofuel to liquid biofuel. Because liquid biofuel is just fucking incredible. Love the stuff. I would drink it if I could. That, no, I wouldn't. That's not safe. Give me your sphere. Oh, radiation. Oop. Oh, uh, that was that was unreasonable. to reload. Uh, okay. Ping again. Okay. Tibbs, do you see where that is? That I think that's where Mr. Bombati was talking about. Do you see that up there? That's probably your best Sam location. I can ping again if you need. Yep, that is the one. Well, wait. Well, I'm just going to wait to confirm that Tibbs did see that. Conan, hop up. Okay, baby. You see it? Perfect. Uh, sorry, my phone's up there. No, 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 Kona, don't stand on that. Kona did many subs. 
Conan, no. You have food. Okay, let's, um... Let's get out of here, Chief! Ooh. Ooh, potential hard drive? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the gun. I'm I'm gonna be working on homing ammo here pretty soon too. Which I'm excited for. What do you want? You want screws? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, lucky enough. But why do you want screws? They're useless. That's not true. Yeah. They gussied up this area a little bit. Oh, Spencer, that's got to feel pretty good. Yeah. I can imagine the Dimensional Depot really adds a satisfying layer to multiplayer the cooperative teddy and i'm so proud of you for them just zubbed. I don't know. Yes, you can, Boombody. Um, I actually have... Fuck. Yeah. Um, I have... In the depot, I have po like maximum power cores in here. Uh, I think I put some ammo in here too. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, go for it. I have uh, medical inhalers in here. Multiple different fuel types. Was it? Is it the groceries or is it food? Okay. Okay. Internet, why are you fucking up? Oh yeah, it's delivered. It is delivered. Food is here. Happy days. There's a lot of bauxite in the swamp now. The swamp, I'm, I'm almost scared to check out after 1.0 because... I have a feeling they they torqued it up a little bit. I have a feeling they cranked it up to 11, so to speak. Oh, I see multiple slugs. I know there's other things I should be doing, but I don't care. Oh, there's another slug. It 
it's worse than before? I knew it. I see so many slugs. Oh yeah, that, that felt pretty good. Mr. Boombody, have you considered how awesome having a handy dandy rifle might be you should actually go out of your way to, to get one made instead of being lazy about it every box i ship it comes with bonus alien protein gross scrub your aluminum motherfuckers would you say it felt satisfying you son of a bitch fair okay you know what fair 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 I poke the bear, it pokes back. Now, this second. Uh, Spencer, I, I think you and Ao may want to check to make sure that Mumbadi has a license for that firearm. Sweet soup time. Luggy baby. Gonna land on your head and pick you up. What do who do what? Oh, Cat just had a work epiphany. Mid mid walking. Love it when that happens. Alright, back in home territory now. Tibbs, hopefully that helped. Unfortunately, that's... That's going to be the end of my time here today, but we'll be back at this tomorrow. We're going to continue putting down power generators. I was hoping we would be done with power generators today, but I would have to do another full, like, three or four hours for that. So we'll get to manufacturers as soon as we can, but we need to finish this power supply setup first. And after that point, we will never have to worry about power again. Also... The amount of pollution that is filling the air here is hilarious. By hilarious, I mean horrifying. I might be the baddie here. I might I might be the problem. I could be I could be the problem. <sighs> More tomorrow. I'm excited. We're so close to finishing this week-long turbo fuel sojourn. We're so close. We're almost there. And then manufacturers for computers and heavy modular frames. Never have to worry about power. Listen! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Look. 
Look, do you see? Dude, I still have 35 plus more, actually 40 more, four, uh, just over 40 more fuel generators I need to put up for turbo fuel. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not going to have to worry about power for a bit. Power is not going to be an issue for a hot second. And if it is an issue at some point here, I might, I might have to murder a space tick. But that's, that's kind of par for the course. That, that's, that's, that's normal. Schedule reminder, 8 a.m. noon, every single day this week. 8 a.m. to noon Eastern, every single day. Finishing the week up with some vanilla wow from Turtle. But for the most part, it's going to be satisfactory. All satisfactory all the time. <laughs> oh, God, Teddy, no. Ever again? Well, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Point to Boombody for being technically correct. And being excessively pedantic about it, which I respect. Ah. <sighs> Also, over on the YouTube page, youtube.com slash at the Dan Nation. Episodes of the Satisfactory Build going up every other day currently, and, and all, all honestly through this week every single day. Also, plenty of other fun things over there. <sighs> all right. No, no, we are not doing another ad break, Twitch. You stop that. Let's see who's live. Let's see. Let's see who's doing things. Some people are doing things. There are people who are doing things here. There are things and stuff that's happening. No, oh, Cam is doing Space Marine 2. We'll send you over to Cam. Cam's doing Space Marine 2. Enjoy, enjoy some Space Marine with the cleansing and purging. And I will be back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow. Give the Admiral my best. I'll be joining you briefly for the raid. But I will see you tomorrow, and then hopefully I will see you on the YouTube page as well. Good day, good luck, and as always, be efficient.